Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking metals and gold prices continue to stay elevated. Recall not too long ago, we saw prices dip pre-December FOMC down below 1240. We are now back north of 1260, hovering possibly ever so closer towards the 200 moving day average, which would be around 1276. And that would be a goal, I think, by year end. Previously, we had thought, maybe I had thought, uh, gold was going to get closer to 1300, but then we saw the big sell off and liquidation, and therefore got us down and took away all that momentum. And now we're back to kind of just getting back to ground level. And I think 1275 is that level heading into the new year and heading into the Powell uh, policy, uh, Fed, Fed policy when he steps in as Fed chair. Uh, after the January meeting. And if you look at the dollar, dollar right now really not helping or hurting gold prices. Uh, we saw the, the dollar sort of trending higher. It saw a modest downtick last week, and then it's, but it didn't really break a trend. The dollar right now isn't focused on gold. It's really not focused on anything other than tax reform, which remains undone, unfinished, we'll say. Yeah, the, the markets are anticipating it will get passed this week, and, and I think everyone is hoping that it will so that we can get those uh, those tax rate uh, cuts enacted early next year. But I think right now the dollar is kind of waiting for Washington to get its act together and is very optimistic. It is a dollar, the DXY is off the lows. However, it is yet to really see a substantial move. Uh, and I think that right now gold pricing is independent of where the dollar is because the two are not moving in sync. However, after the dollar, after after tax reform goes through or doesn't go through, the dollar is going to make a big move and gold should react. And if you look lastly at positioning, uh, we saw those longs exit uh, pretty aggressively over the last few periods. And last week was no different. We saw low, long spec longs get to their lowest point pretty much of the year. Recall that in December of 2016, we saw longs exit uh, before and after the, the Fed rate hike in December of 16. So things weren't any different here. We saw spec lungs get out before. We've seen them continue to get out there relatively as let their lowest level of the year. And I think right now some of this uptick we're seeing in gold is new long stepping in very modestly. I think it's just going to be kind of a very slow and steady trade into year end. Like I said, the 200-day moving day average is 1276. That is a level that will be a goal at least by year end. And I think right now gold is just sort of waiting, like many commodities, it's waiting for something to happen in Washington. It's waiting for things to, to progress with the Fed. And it's waiting to see what happens with some of these cryptocurrencies, which are still very electric and still very much a part of the focus. So right now gold waiting, much like others, and we'll have to wait and see. I think 1275 is a good year in target for right now. If we get a little more aggressive, I can probably extend that to 1280, but I'd be happy right now with just seeing about a $10 rally over the next couple of weeks as we head into year end. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.